Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, I wanna talk about how the if-then function in Tableau works and to run through sort of a variety of situations. Um, it's a topic that I talk about frequently in my classes and I just feel like having a supplemental video here might help for those that maybe missed those section or those of you that maybe haven't taken the class or are not gonna take the class but still wanna know how to be efficient with logic functions in the Tableau world. All right, so let's go ahead and pop forward into our first worksheet, operators only. So actually the first thing we're gonna cover here is actually not gonna use an if then statement. So I've got this worksheet, which subcategories are profitable? So let's say I wanna color the bars to the right, one color and the bars to the left, another color. Uh, side note, there is a way to do that without any calculations, um, you know, just with color palettes, but we're not doing that just now. So I'm gonna kick off a new calculated field. I hit the drop down in my data pane and say, create calculated field. I'm just gonna keep this very simple. So I will just say profitable, and then just this, sum of profit greater than zero. No if then statement, right? So, so what will happen if we do this? Tableau is going to create a Boolean output. Either a bar is greater than zero or it's not, okay? Uh, quick side note, in pretty much all of the functions I'm using here, I'm gonna be talking about sum of profit, not just profit. Why? Uh, because I'm, I wanna be referencing the values in the bars. If you don't have an aggregation, if I just said is profit greater than zero, Tableau's gonna look at a row level and say, yes, some rows are, and no, some rows aren't. I'm not trying to do a row level um, uh, calculation here. I'm trying to do an aggregate you know, data point level. Okay, so if I, uh, so so one, so I hit okay, and here's profitable, TF, right? Over here in my data pane, a little Boolean field for us. And if I go ahead and drop this on color now, it's not very good colors. They could have picked the opposite. It would have been more intuitive, but here's true, everything that's right facing, and there's false. So let's just edit the colors really quick. And I was actually gonna flip those to make that easier. There you go. True to the blue, orange is false, all right? So why do that as opposed to just the color legend? Well, one of the nice things, especially is if you have a lot of values, is that um, you know you could even maybe use this as a filter or something like that. So your user could choose, hey, just show me the false ones. Which were those? How how what were those values? Okay. So what about one condition, right? So now we're going to actually write an if then statement that has only a single condition. So basically similar to what we just did with a slight tweak. Okay. So I'm gonna drop down on profit and create a calculated field. And I'll just say profitable, and I'm just gonna start giving these more technical names so I remember which one is which. So one condition. So now I will just say, if the sum of profit is greater than zero, then profitable. End. Okay, profitable's in quotes because I just want a text output. So with no else, without saying else blah, 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 else not profitable, watch what happens here. So I say, okay, um, notice now this is in the data pane and this is an ABC string text type function. If I drop this on color in the marks card, now I have profitable orange and null blue, okay? So if there are values that are not captured by a condition, let's edit that calculation again. Tableau just says, or Tableau just makes everything else a null, okay? So in that case, maybe you do wanna have a second condition, right? So one more time, I go to profit, create a calculated field, call it profitable, two conditions. So here, we'll say if sum of profit is greater than uh, zero, then profitable, else, unprofitable. All right. Say okay. I'm going to put that on color in the marks card. So now if you go look at my legend, you can see it looks better. You know, don't I don't have a null value anymore. All right. Um, and so you might think, well, how is this really different than operators only? It, it's not that different, right? The main difference is just what does it say? Does it just say true, false, or do you get whatever your you know custom text output is? More like this. Okay. 
So final thing, uh, we wanna look at what if there are more than two conditions, okay? So how profitable is each subcategory? So maybe I have some different kind of cutoff points, you know, you know if it's greater than 20,000, then it's super profitable or, you know, however I, I wanna define that, okay? So we're gonna hit the drop down on profit, create another calculated field. I'll call it profit levels. And so let's do it like this. So I will say if, mm -hmm, try that again. If sum of profit is greater than or equal to 25,000, then highly profitable. Okay, next line, else if, it's a new operator for us there, else if sum of profit is greater than or uh, zero, then profitable. Else if sum of profit is, let me think about this, uh, greater than or equal to 5,000, uh, negative 5,000, I should say, negative $5,000 then um, somewhat unprofitable. Else highly unprofitable. Struggle with my... Uh, typing out my words here today. Um, so to actually, just to mix this up a little bit, I'm just gonna try and keep the language somewhat simp uh, somewhat the same here. Okay, so here we go. So how does this work? So if sum of profit is greater than or equal to 25,000, that would be these bars. Those will be part of the highly profitable group. Otherwise, everything greater than zero will be part of our profitable group. Those that are unprofitable, but under a loss of $5,000 will be unprofitable. And this one bar should be else highly unprofitable because it's a loss of greater than $5,000. So if you're looking at this, you might think, well, what if a bar meets multiple criteria? For instance, isn't copiers both greater than 25,000 and greater than zero and greater than negative 5,000? Yeah, you're right. Copiers would, in theory, qualify for all of those conditions. Um, so what I did is I did my conditions from the high down to the low, meaning you know capturing the highest values first. So what would happen is once copiers becomes part of a group, so it's part of this group, it's no longer going to be considered as part of the next conditional criteria. Okay. So if and when possible, it's really nice with if statements to either go highest to lowest or lowest to highest. If you can't or if there's multiple variables in play, you can always do and logic. So I could say and you know sum of profit um, is less than twenty five thousand. Okay, so Tableau is not going to fault you for that. Um, that would work as well. Uh, it's not. It's just not necessary for the way that we wrote this formula. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this out and see what this looks like in action. See if I did it right. So let's say okay, and we put profit levels on color. And I see four unique colors, probably wanna change them, uh, but that's a, a good initial sign for us here. So highly profitable is dark blue, I like that. Profitable light blue, unprofitable light orange. And you know, I think that's kind of along the lines of what I would be expecting to see. The really positive outcome, moderately positive, moderately negative, very negative. Uh, if you want the legend to be in the same order as the uh, colors in the chart, all you will need to do is just manually rearrange these values. You can either do that in the legend, or if you're gonna use this thing in a number of places, I would actually recommend if it lets you changing the default sort order, um, and, and maybe it won't there because it's an aggregated field, so, so maybe just uh, manually rearranging there in the legend. So there you go, that's kind of a primer on if-then statements. Of course, these things can get very complicated, multiple fields, multiple levels, nested, all sorts of things. So I'm gonna drop a link in the description below to a video that we've done on nested if statements. Um, that might be of interest to you if yours are maybe getting a little bit more complicated than what we just saw here. So thank you so much for following along. Uh, we appreciate that and we look forward to catching you on another video here at the One Number YouTube channel next week. Thanks.